So since we've been on this streak of covering DVD commentary information, I was going through my collection and saw that Michiko and Hachin had some as well, and with this being one of my favorite anime, I decided to cover it. The DVD commentary for episode 1 comes from Christopher Bevins, the voice director and voice of Hiroshi, Monica Rial, the voice of Michiko, and Jade Saxton, the voice of Hachin. Christopher Bevins dropped some really interesting information about the voice casting for the show, along with the writing, and he stated, when you have such great source material, it makes our job so much easier. The characters write themselves. In many cases, the characters cast themselves. There's so much depth to the characters that it's easy to draw on that. Even a 12-line character or a 4-line character, there's something to pick up on in them. This is a huge cast, and it is tricky because every episode or two, they're in a different town, which means entirely new supporting characters. Everybody's all excited to come and is like, thank you so much for for having me in on this show. This looks like a really cool show. Wait, what do you mean we're done? Sorry, they skipped town and we never see your character again. And that's so trippy because that's really, yeah, that's a double-edged sword. Because on one hand, you get to bring more people in and it does build the world up heavily. Like, the show has so many characters I can think of that came and went that could dang near have their own series worth of backstory. So as the viewer, to think about how attached I got within one or two episodes with some of these characters and how real they felt, I could only imagine the internal conflict it would be to play that character and then think that they're going to be around forever or actually get explored just to end up getting booted off. Jade Saxton, when referring to the plot of this episode, said, I really love the setup of this episode too. I liked being able to establish those relationships and see where everyone's coming from. It's like a mini movie within the series. She later described Hachin as, it's like she has the soul of an adult already, so that's kind of cool having an adult voice her. If you were to have a real child do that, you'd have to find some really soulful child to put that underneath her voice. Then they all talk about the swapping mother dynamic between Michiko and Hachin, and Christopher Bevins brings up how he remembers during the auditions, describing Hachin as 9 going on 40. Monica Rial also brought in some really cool backstory on her first experiences with the show, along with the writing, and stated, there's some great scenes for an actor to play, even without the other person being there. It's like, I know this is gonna be so awesome when it's done, because it's so well written. So I remember coming in first for Michiko, and not getting to hear Hachin, and then later on catching little glimpses of Hachin, and being like, ah, I love it, I can't can't wait to hear it all together. Christopher Christopher Bevins brings up a fun fact about this character. Very unique voice for Cynthia here. She had some throat issues several months ago. This was one of her first roles coming back to get her vocal cords going again. And it's so different from anything she's ever done because her throat is healing, but it sounds awesome and is so perfect for this character. So that's just wild again because you realize how with creating stuff it just kind of writes itself sometimes. Or you capture lightning in a bottle so to say but that was pretty much everything i felt the need to jot down there were some other little fun facts like michiko's voice actor stating that she just randomly started calling hachin nugget at some point and you know that became kind of an inside joke between them like christopher bevin said at one point she was at a bakery and just texted him a picture of some nuggets and was freaking out also christopher bevins brought up how the detail work on the show is pretty insane like when you see portuguese text in the background or on something that kind of flashes by. It's pretty spot on. They also kind of poked fun about how Michiko somehow landed the bike on the table and then somehow got it back off the table and back onto the street, which I never really questioned before, so that was funny. But yeah, I strongly recommend Michiko and Hachin. Let me know what you guys think. Stay safe. Remember to take care of yourself. Learn to love yourself. If you feel the need to or want to, let me know how your day is going in the comments. I do read them when you do. Links to the social media and the Discord in the description and comment section as well. But yeah, so that's it. I'm about. Peace.